outside. Right, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my charm hanger and then we're going to have a look at the fairy here. Now, I don't know how well you can see this in the picture, um, but she's actually layered up quite a lot. Now, I'm going to chop her wings off because they're too big to fit on. So I kind of doctored her a bit. But if you if you can just see, she's actually in layers here. So I'm going to do that with you. We're going to put on some of our fussy cut flowers. And if you'll notice as well that I've used some paper flowers and the plastic uh, leaves just to add a bit of contrast and interest. And then we've got this metal picture holder. I don't even know what it is to go there. Um, and then uh, I've put a few... Um, fussy cut bits on the uh, spine as well and then I've just added my charm and tied some ribbon to it so that's what we're going to do evening Ruth I'm impressed Michelle well done very impressive now I'd rather have the frost actually Larissa to be truthful right so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my charm hanger on now this is a little, it's one of the Tim Holtz ones because I wanted something that was a bit more delicate than my usual big charm hangers because obviously it's fairies and it needs to be delicate. And on the subject of delicate, good evening Diane, how are you my darling? Nice of you to pop in. Hi Alison. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to decide where I want my uh, charm hanger to go. Now, this book has got four pages, so if I'd done this properly, you can see I haven't quite got it right here. But if I'd done this properly, I would have had, this would have been right in the middle, been between the middle two pages. But as I haven't done it properly, they're not in the middle quite because I kind of messed it up. Oh, I also need to make sure it's the right way round. So before you go putting holes in things, make sure that your book's the right way up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where I'm going to put it. So that is one and a half inches and I probably want it um, about half an inch down, maybe a bit more. Let's go for three quarters of an inch. So half of one and a half is three quarters. Am I right, Mark? Yeah, yeah, Mark. Oh, oh, God, I'm getting good at this. So let's have a look. Three quarters is about there. That's about three quarters down. That was a good guess. But it doesn't matter because if I've got a mark on it, I can always cover it up. Evening, Sue. Right, now what I'm going to do is get my pokey tool, which I had and have since lost. Hang on, it's probably in my bag. I'm going to get stopped one day and asked why I have this horribly dangerous pokey tool in my bag. earlier I found my magnets ah right so I've got my pokey tool which is covered in glue and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a hole through the whole bit all the way through like that hopefully that will have come out roughly in the middle there I'm just going to wiggle it about a bit because I need to wiggle it a bit hi Mel uh, just to get the, the, the brads through so I'm going to take my charm thingy and I'm going to see if that will fit through the hole that I've just made which it will then I'm going to open up those legs on those brads like that and now I can go in and just put in that strip of paper down there to cover it. So you're not going to see it. But that's my charm hanger in. Dead easy. Couldn't be easier. Right. So the front of the book. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to back the back of my metal bit here. So I'm going to find a suitable sentiment and I'm going to just glue it onto the back of my metal thing. So let me see what I can find. Well, um, I think we've got cake, Diane. You'll have to ask. Um, you have to ask the boss. She's, see if Wendy's got some. She's, she's, knocking, she? oh, she's knocking about. She? Yeah. 
popped in. I might use something different this time. I think I might go for that dreams. Let's have a look and see what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't fit. Well, it does kind of. No, I don't like it. Don't like it. No. My daughter used to say, no like it. And it's kind of become a thing now. So, no like it. What else have I got? No, it doesn't fit. <sighs> oh yeah that'll do right so that'll fit on there I'm just going to draw around it so I know roughly where I need to be cutting. And I'm going to cut inside that because obviously that's the outside of my metal piece. So it's larger than the metal piece, but I need it to be marginally smaller. So let's see. Nope, still needs a bit of chomping down. Let's see what that looks like. Still a little bit to cut there. Now, I know that there's all sorts of fancy glues that you can use with metal. I have no idea what they are. E something or other? E... Not E45, that's face cream. E E390, is it? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to pop some glue onto the back of my metal thing. My what's it? That's a technical name for it. There we go. Pop that on there. Right, okay. So now I'm just going to decide where I want things to go on my book. So that will be about there. Now my fairy. Here's one I made earlier. E6000. Thank you all. I knew it was called something or other. Have you tried it? Is it any good? I don't use metal embellishments often and I really should because I do like them. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to cut... The wings off. Oh, I know she's wingless now because she doesn't fit as it stands with the wings. She's too big. She just doesn't fit on the book. So I cut them down a bit and I placed them. So it still looked like she had wings. This is up, but kind of fitted if that makes sense you know what I did as well I cut that one round too I've got the book in front of me it's such a long time since I did it I can't remember so I'm guessing that what I did was oh yes put that like that there we go because that one fits just under there so do you remember last week when we were talking and I said that I just put um glue on certain bits of it um i'm going to do the same here because i'm still going to want to do some tucking and stuff so the first thing for me to do is get my first layer down of this fairy so that's what i'm going to do now so i'm just going to use my glue i'm just using ordinary glue and it worked perfectly well and i'm just going to pop that down And my fairy let's pop her on top and make sure that she looks like she should have the wings where they are actually 
let's pop that up. I think I want that there a bit and then that one goes like that that looks a bit more natural for far as fairy wings go I reckon right okay so that's my fairy down now what I'm going to do is do you remember I told you to keep the this is the one off the cover so if we put this one in the middle to layer up you're not going to see so much of it so now I'm going to cut only certain bits of her so I'm going to cut I'll just rough cut it first. Which one are you using the glossy fairy from the front sheet? I am you the middle layer, this next layer now. So the second layer. So I've got that. That's using my proper fairy off the you know the ordinary um thing. thing. Yeah, I know, yeah, but it's still not a thing. So now I'm just gonna cut her out, but I'm only going to cut out certain bits of her so I'm going to cut out her hair and her dress but I'm not going to cut out her legs does anybody else when you're cutting out like a figure like this wonder if it hurts them when you cut their legs off or is that just me just me okay all right, that's fine. I can live with that. I am very sensitive, soul. Oh good, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Terry. And I worry about it when I'm cropping photos as well. That's too weird, Angie. Too weird, thank you. Thank you, dear. Yeah. I don't care, I'm in good company. Oh yeah. So yeah, these changes today have caused me some grief, but not as much grief as it's caused the poor people who are coming to my next retreat in three weeks. Because thanks to these changes, we've had to postpone Super Sweet, this one. until March but we're still I think going to go ahead and do kits for the class which I'm sure I mentioned in the past and just unfortunately we won't be able to get together which is a bit of a pain oh, we're not, then, yeah. not entirely but we can't meet socially in groups of more than six people. And I tried the this is education line because we can still meet for educational purposes. But I don't think, well, I didn't get away with it, but I did try. God, this fairy's got a lot of hair. Uh, yeah. Like Wendy crying. I know. To be honest with you, Wendy, I was holding it really, really, really well together until we started chatting in the group. And then everybody was so lovely. I just blurted everywhere. Luckily, Mark wasn't in at the time. To drink your tea. And it was pretty serious stuff actually because I made a cup of tea and I got out the chocolate digestives so you know you knew it was That's serious. 
I mean, you know it's bad when, you know, you make the tea, but when the chocolate digestives come out, that's just the depths of despair. Or you just fancy chocolate digestive. But this was depths of despair stuff. <sighs> Well, I'll tell you why I'm particularly sad, because I was promised so much cake. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know we were. Oh, my God. Oh, no Reese's Pieces. <gasps> oh, Sam. I bet Sam's not here. She's not making this book. Right, I'm going to get my knife out. Don't watch, Mark. Because there's some bits of this that I am not going to uh, get my scissors round. So I'm going to cut it with a knife. When this says OMG, I did the same. Good. What got the got the knife out, or had a cup of tea and a chocolate digestive? Yes, I lied. Okay. Ooh, right. So what I've got now is half a fairy. So I've cut out her dress, her hair, her face, and her arms, and she is going to pop on top of that fairy. So her wings are behind her. Her legs are not as far forward as these arms and uh, That's quite a deal. Yes, and, and her, her dress. So how did I pop it up? Well, you know, the same way I always do. I, I got some of my chipboard. This is too thick. Can't cut it. Right. She had a jockey digestives and tea. It's the only way. The only way. Actually, and it is, it is it is a British stereotype that is true. That when times are tough, tea and chocolate biscuits is the answer, I think. Well, it is for me. Now I want a really narrow bit to go up that arm. Actually that second arm should go should come off. Right, let's just have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna just take that bit of arm off because that's behind. She doesn't need it. Michelle had a tub of Ben and Jenny's on stream yesterday. That sounds like a plan. If I'd got some, I would have had that. Although I was very good, you know, Mark. You just don't know how good I was because I was going to have the crunchies and not tell you and just pretend that we'd never bought them. But I didn't because I was good. Right, so now I'm going to lay this down on top of my fairy. 
making sure that it lines up with what's underneath so she's got all her lovely hair coming out here she's got her, her face forward a dress etc now we just need a bit of the last one we don't need much all we need is a bit of hair this hair her arm and her face so i'll show you you need that arm you can kind of play with her hair a little bit cut a bit of it out Oh, I bet that was lovely. Okay, cut round her armhole, round her dress. And then I'm just going to rough cut this a minute because it's easy for me to hold. I'm just going to cut out her hair and her head. I'm sure it is. I hope there's not going to be like dead fairies everywhere now. I've lost my Fisker scissors. No. I put them somewhere safe and I don't know where they are. And these aren't bad at all. Well, you get used to a pair of scissors and I like my Fisker's ones. Oh, I've just remembered. We've got a box of stuff at Mel's and it's okay. got those little snips in that you wanted, Wendy, that I bought for the retreat. So, so we'll have to go down and get those. Right, OK, so now, oh, hang on, hang on, knife. I don't know how people do those paper cut things. I'm useless cutting with a knife, it's just in the vague general direction. Probably need a sharp knife, not covered in glue. Right, so there's my last bit of my fairy and I'm going to stick that on there to give me that final 3D sort of feel. So it's exactly the same process again. I'm going to get my uh, chipboard. chipboard and just layer it up.
and I'm just going to do a long thin one to go down her arm okay a bit of glue and I'm going to place this directly over the top of her head there so it all lines up and now we have our 3d fairy bit of date is it, is it called decoupage i know you can do this on cards can't you so that that's how i did her so now what i'm going to do is just use some of the bits that i've got left over some of my my fussy cut bits um and i'm just going to decorate up my book however i fancy so this bit which i've now dropped something on i'm just going to pop that onto my book let's just pop it under there make it interesting like that is that straight yeah near enough uh And now I'm just going to layer up. Some bits will go flat directly onto the, um, onto the book. Some I'll pop up on uh, bits of chipboard got these straight edge pieces I think I might pop that down there and then just layer them up I guess not sure that might go now I am going to want a fairy with the oh put some glue on it would probably help with the organza wings. So which one shall I use? Oh I've got me dancing one here. Anybody know where I put my scissors? Oh, yeah, there. So I'm going to snip her wings off, poor lassie. I'm going to get my organza wings. Pop a bit of glue on those. Pop those onto her back like that. And then I'm going to use some chipboard to pop her up quite high. So I might use a couple of layers of chipboard just as she's standing a little bit sort of prouder prouderist prouderist yes you know what i mean Right, I'm going to pop her on. Let's pop her there. Oh, 
and then I'm just going to keep building up with the flowers. So just fill in all of your gaps. You can pop bits underneath or on top of. Oh, geese. Okay. Don't forget to hire them up for a bit of interest. And don't forget that you've got lots of paper flowers in your kit. If you've had a kit. And uh, you can just glue these wherever you fancy as well. Just for a bit of added interest. Shouldn't have squished that. Hang on, I've dropped all of them on the floor. I've knocked them. Hey, man. Oh, no. Nah. -uh. I'm just going to pop those on too. clustering things I like things in groups of odd numbers not sixes not sixes no I said I did that. no what did you do there sixes sixes groups of six groups of oh god thanks I'm, like I need the reminder well, obviously <sighs> I was doing all right till you said that. I do. And then just go ahead and keep adding and carrying on until you're done. Don't forget to put some on the spine of your book as well. There we go. So I'm sure you've got that the the idea now of how that's going to how that's going to go on. Um, add some to the spine. You just clip your uh, charm on and add some lengths of ribbon, as I've done on mine here. Yeah. So before we go, couple of things. Number one, does anybody have any questions? Is there anything that you want me to go over again? Is there anything that you want to? go over or or whatever anything that i can remind you about i've lost my thingy so i can see what you're chatting about now ellie's asked if she's tuned in right at the end yes you tuned in right at the end ellie but that's okay hi miranda yeah we're good so next week we don't have a class tomorrow, Thursday, but next Wednesday, we are going to start the large Winter Tales class. Our first class will be going through and at least doing the rough cutting for the fussy cutting before we get onto the book. OK. So that's going to be what we're doing on Wednesday. On Thursday in here we are going to do the small winter tales book it might take two classes it might take one i don't know we'll see but that's what we're going to do next week so back to thursdays because i'm missing my thursdays i have heard from my supplier that the christmas graphic 45 will be in on friday so I should have my sticky paws on that in the middle of next week so that we can start looking at that. But I did mention briefly about a um, Magic of Oz book. Now, I found the one that I started 
but just bear in mind it's still really rough I haven't got very far with it but I did I did find it I thought I'd look it out for you so you can see what I mean so this is what this is what I did and you can see why this is the, the pre the sort of the pre runner to um to fairy wings in a minute So it's only it's, it's a different size book completely. Um, I don't know how big it is actually. It is eight and a half by seven and a half, and the plan was to put things like that on the front with some of the cut out. Um, what do you call them poppies and things and then i have all of these well loads of them um poppies to put on as well so you can you can see where the fairies book came from now but then inside the pages are quite plain and the idea was you have like room for one photo and then we'll use the character each pa each character would have its own page so that we would be you know adding adding little bits down the side but this bit would be pretty much plain if that makes sense so that was the thoughts behind it so if you are interested in um this is a class let me know because what what i'll do with it is i'll do it um i'll do it kind I'm, i'll maybe do it as a separate class altogether um we'll have a think about that because i don't know whether everybody wants to do it it might be just a, a few people um but you might not want to do it at all i don't know uh, but that that was kind of the theory and that was how it was coming along when i left it probably about a year ago now um so yeah let me know what you think about that um and uh i'll see you next thursday wednesday wednesday i'll see you on wednesday goodness sake if you've got any queries about your uh, fairy wings one, um, just give me a shout. I'm not going far. <laughs> Nobody's going far anymore, are they? Um, so, uh, yeah. OK, cool. Please post up pictures of your books because I am dying to see them. Um, that would be absolutely ace. Uh, and I'm hoping now that you're going to start flooding the group with your wonderful fairy books. And I will see you next Wednesday. Thanks guys.